there are three methods you can use to disable a plugin. Number one, through your dashboard. Number two, directly from your database. And number three, via FTP. Let's check each one out. Method one, from the dashboard. Navigate to plugins in the left sidebar. Once there, find the plugin you wanna deactivate and simply click the deactivate button. This will reload the page and the plugin will stop working. You can always come back here and reactivate it or completely delete it from your site. Method two, directly from your database. To get started, you'll need to access your WordPress database via PHP My Admin. Although PHP My Admin looks the same for everyone, accessing it is different for every host. If you're having trouble, you can check your host documentation for directions or contact them directly. If you're hosting a single website, you should see only one database on the left side. Otherwise, find the one that says WordPress or WP or something similar and click it. You'll see a list of tables which contain all of your website's data. Find WP options and click it. The row we're looking for here is called active plugins. And just note, there are a lot of pages here, so it might take you a second to do that. Once you find it, go over and click edit. Now on this page, we see option value. And the first thing we wanna do is copy everything within this value. You could save this elsewhere just in case as a backup. But once you've done that, delete it. Now we're gonna replace it with this string. That small snippet of code tells WordPress that there are zero active plugins on your site. Once you've done that, go ahead and click the go button. You should now be able to access your site and you'll see that all of your plugins are no longer active. And if you want, you can go ahead and start reactivating them one by one. And finally, method three via FTP. Once connected to your site, navigate to public HTML, WP content, and open up the plugins folder. Now find the folder of the plugin you want to deactivate. If you want, you can right click and download it as a backup. Once you've done that, go ahead and just delete it. Doing so will both deactivate and remove that plugin. If you wanna get the plugin back, you'll have to reinstall it. And there you go. If you were having an issue with one or more plugins, any of these three methods should help you get it solved in no time. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.